Hi, I'm Dr. Kath from Private Practice Ninja, and today we're talking about what's holding you back from being social. Let me ask you a question. How many times today have you looked at your smartphone and had a little nosy peek at Twitter or Instagram, Facebook or LinkedIn? I bet it's a few times today already, isn't it? Well, if you're looking at social media, your patients and your potential referrers are also looking at it. In fact, a study by Forbes said that 40% of millennials, that says lucky youngsters born between the early, 90, early 80s and the mid 90s, 40% of them make their healthcare choices based about what they read online. So if you're not being social, you're really missing a trick. Let me ask you, what are your excuses? What's holding you back? Maybe, maybe it's the fear of the unknown. I don't know what to post, when to post or how to post. Perhaps you're feeling bit paranoid that another clinician may say something controversial about you because they didn't share your opinion or what if a patient says something about you I'd say what if a patient says something great about you listen the best news is about social media is it's free that's obvious but when you think about it it gives you enormous capability to really be targeted and connect with people who are referrers and patients and the more you show up, the more you get to display the brand you and the more people get to know you as the go-to clinician for X or Y. If you're prepared to spend just a few pounds, you can actually use a little bit of advertising budget, which goes a very, very long way on social media. It's far better use of your cash than, say, print or putting things in magazines or even in newspapers. So social is the way to go. And if you want to know how well this can be done, let me introduce you to Leanne Antoine. She's a physiotherapist with her company, Distinct Physio. Leanne's really known for showing up every week, I think it's a Friday, on Facebook. She shows up on Facebook Live. And the best thing about Leanne is she's enthusiastic, she gets on with it, she doesn't let the fear of the gear or anything else hold her back. And uh, it's really exciting to see a physio uh, in, the, in her sphere doing so well on social. So if you need any help with getting your social media strategy together, don't forget to connect with me at css at privatepracticeninja.co.uk. Now, over to Leanne. Good evening, everyone. It's Leanne from Distinct Physiotherapy, and I want to say I'm gracing you on social media. That's usually my strap line for each video that I start, and kind of just gives me a really nice buy-in because people recognize that line and they're looking forward to what I'm going to say next. When Dr. Cathy and I spoke about what I was going to tell you or speak, speak to you guys about, we had the conversation that um, it was just purely how was I using social media to get in touch with my audience, to help people to identify with what I was doing um, on social media in my business. And I thought, I'm never going to be able to tell you guys um, you know, in, in, a, in a short space of time, what I do, I, you know, I was thinking, oh, what am I gonna say to everyone? But actually, in the time that I've been building my business, which has now been just over two and a half years, my whole why behind the business was to try and promote what we did as physiotherapists, what I did as, as physiotherapist, and what made me unique or different to other physiotherapists in the field. Not necessarily why I thought I was better, but what I thought I was giving to my patients that maybe other people weren't, if that makes sense. So I wanted people to understand what physiotherapists, number one, what they did, how we worked, um, what we provided, what types of services we provided, whether that was in the NHS or private, but also talking to people about common injuries, common dysfunctions that affect them in their daily lives. I guess in some ways I was trying to bridge the gap between the patient who felt that they always had to go to their GP or a consultant before they came to see someone like myself. So just highlighting that auto autonomy that we have as physiotherapists, it's also an opportunity for me to reach out to, to other health professionals to let them know that my business was established, that I was out there and able to take care of their patients. And that whole process has taken time. So when you first start out, it feels like you don't really know who you're talking to and you don't really get that many views. And to be honest, the whole learning curve is about trying to establish those views, but that's just a byproduct of what it is that you're trying to do. I say you talk from your heart, you tell people what you think you want them to hear. So what is it that your business stands for? What is it that you provide to your patients? Why should they come to you? Why are you different from everyone else? I know there's that common phrase, unique selling point. 
I am going there with this, what's so unique about you and your business, why shouldn't they go to somebody else? Um, but I also think it's a really great opportunity for your patients to recognize that you are human. So at times, you will see me on social media doing a little bit of a dance. I will ask them, what are their plans for Sexy Saturday? Everyone's always a little bit more relaxed come the weekend. And I think it's a really nice opportunity to show people that you're human. We make mistakes, so most of the times my videos will be recorded in one take. I rarely do much more than that. I talk to you guys, I talk to my patients, I talk, I'm talking to you now um, very openly, very friendly, and I hope that that get, has me coming across as though I am quite approachable. It's a lovely Sunday evening in London. I've been at the Hamyard Hotel for what was a lovely evening of dinner and teas. And you know what? People also want to know that too. You're not all work, that there is some play in there, uh, and people just want to feel connected. So whatever it is that you think that you have to offer that allows patients to feel connected to you, I would try and tap into that. I'm Leanne from Distinct Physiotherapy.